Hey, you got something to say? I got something to say. Say They're wild, (laughs) mad, and on the loose. This is Listeners on the Loose. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Car Toys. Listeners on the Loose, where you pick the topic, you guide the show at 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Whatever it is you want to talk about, it's all yours. You have the floor, but Steve has a rule. It's a simple rule, BJ, and that's to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, we are going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Let's talk to Hans and Kenmore. Hans, you are on the rock. Dude, how's it going? What's up, buddy? Welcome to the show. What you got? Hey, well, uh, I also go by the nomenclature of the Ramen Raider, and I've tried over, well, I'm almost up to uh, my 3,000th review of Instant Noodles. Oh, the Ramen Raider. Do you have have like a YouTube channel? What do you do? Do you have a blog? I've got a YouTube channel. I've got a blog. I'm on every single... Uh, social media platform. I'm not so well known in the States as more known in uh, Southeast Asia. They call me the god of ramen over there and the godfather of ramen, so that's kind of cool. That's very cool. Pretty honored. That's awesome, dude. Wow. So you're big in Japan? (laughs) Uh, No, no, no. no. But uh, more more like I'm big in uh, Taiwan. All right, so Uh, what's what's the best way to eat ramen noodles? um, With your mouth. Whoa. Um, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, do you like throw an egg on it? I know people do that. Do you like the beef flavor, the chicken flavor, the shrimp flavor? Honestly, right now on my uh, top ten list, the number one is one out of Singapore, and it's a uh, laksa flavor, which is kind of like a creamy, coconutty seafood kind of thing going on. And, yeah, eggs eggs are always always good. Uh, tofu puff is awesome. Mung bean sprouts, oh stuff God. like that. I'm looking at yeah. some. We're looking at one of your videos, and it just looks delicious. Right on. So have you? Yeah, been, I looks, do, uh, the food looks good spicy too. Spicy noodle videos. <laughs> like I'm pounding like the spiciest. I've I've eaten the spiciest instant noodles in the world. I actually come out with a list every year of the top ten spiciest. So how's this doing for you, Hans? Are you able to make a, a living off doing this? Because I mean, you, your videos look like they're pretty good production. I hope you're able to make some cash off this deal. Dude, thanks. Uh, not so much on the videos. I do a little bit of advertising on the site for companies. Um, but yeah, it's it's. And my main job is I'm a stay-at-home dad, too, so. Oh, look at you. Uh, yeah, it's busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I know you got your kid involved in some of the videos as well. That's awesome. Oh, totally. Got to keep them in there. I try to put them in, like, everything, so. And that's but, a, like, I think you call doesn't him, like noodles. You call him a grabby two-and-a-half-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, know. yeah, big I'm a, time. <laughs> I'm a grabby 43-year-old. Dude, I'll tell right you. On. Hey, I'm a grabby 43-year-old. It's my birthday. Look at this. Nice. Ramen Happy power. Birthday. Have, uh, so, uh, so Ramen Raider, uh, which uh, if you just go, if you search on the web, just Ramen Raider, R A T E R, you'll find all this stuff. And it, uh, the site looks good. The videos are awesome. Celebrating the instant noodle for 15 years. Absolutely. So, um, have Absolutely. you have you been to the new places I've seen open up at South Center and at Bellevue Square? Kazuki, uh, have you been to that place yet? Yeah, I checked out Kazuki. That wasn't bad. Um, honestly, Japanese ramen, it's good, but I'm. You know, I've, I've I've been what I've been to Kazuki, I've been to San Tuca in Bellevue, and I've been to one called Shibu in Kirkland. And honestly, I've had instant noodles that I've liked better than wow. uh, what I've had in all three of those places. How about that? Then again, I've tried three thousand varieties, so that's kind of a, a range to pick from. But is, that, uh, is there a restaurant yeah. in town that we could go to that you're guaranteed that you're gonna have good ramen noodles? I'm so hungry. Um. If it still exists, I mean, well, ramen? Nah. I, I, I don't noodles. know. I've been I've, I've been to three ramen joints, but if they still exist, Malay Satay Hut over in Redmond, they've got really good curry noodles. Nice. That's where it's at. Malay Satay Hut. Curry. All right. We'll have, to, we'll have to look that up see if they're around. Well, Hans, yeah. Uh, yeah. so, yeah, just go to ramen. Just go to, he's got just, T-shirts. Oh, he's got everything. Search for Ramen Raider. That's cool. And, uh, dude, I, I hope, you know, it's cool that, you know, as a stay-at-home dad, you found some cool stuff to do that, who knows, that, 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 that's, uh, you know, gotten you some acclaim and hopefully you can bring some bucks into the house. That's awesome. I would say, yeah, yeah. All right, man, appreciate the call. Take care. Thanks for listening, too, Hans. Speaking See, of food, uh, yes. we got, uh, I, I know it's just this.